physical transport medium. When I say physical transport medium, I'm talking about the physical cable used to transport data. There are three types I'm going to talk about, coaxial, ethernet, and fiber optic. We're going to discuss what each cable is made of, the advantages and disadvantages, and how you should choose between the three types. Coaxial is made up of a center copper wire surrounded by insulation, then a braided shield with PVC or plenum coating on the outside. Coaxial is mainly used for TV signals. Plenum is a fire resistant coating. It has a low combustion point and really releases less toxic fumes if burned. It can be applied to all cable types. Some advantages of coax are its cost. At roughly six cents per foot, the braided shield provides some protection from EMI and RFI. It is also easy to implement and troubleshoot. Coax is still affected by EMI and RFI, even with the braided shield. And compared to modern day cables, coax offers little speed and bandwidth. Ethernet con consists of four pairs of wires wrapped to reduce crosstalk. Ethernet consists of an inner jacket that has the eight wires. It can be shielded or unshielded. Shielded twisted pair is a special insulation that is wrapped around the wires. The shielding provides some EMI and RFI protection. There are many categories of Ethernet, but we are only worried about two, which are the most popular today, CAT5E and CAT6A. CAT5E offers speeds of 100 MHz, bandwidth up to 1000 MB per second, and costs about 14 cents per foot. CAT6A offers speeds up to 250 MHz, bandwidth up to 1000 MB per second, and costs about 40 cents per foot. Both use the RJ45 connector. One advantage of Ethernet is its price. As stated, it can be as low as 14 cents per foot. Another advantage of Ethernet provides adequate bandwidth for home or small networks. The cable itself is flexible and is easy to work with. One disadvantage is that Ethernet isn't suited for large networks. It is also still affected by EMI and RFI. Fiber optic is made up of a center glass or plastic core with cladding surrounding the core. The cladding reflects the signal back into the core. Fiber optic uses light signals to transmit data, unlike Ethernet and coax, which use electric signals. The light is immune to EMI and RFI. Fiber can also send data up to 25 miles. It supports large bandwidth up to 10 gigabytes per second and is very secure. The disadvantages of fiber are is that it's very expensive, up to $4.50 per foot. It also requires special diagnostic tools, which can be pricey as well. The glass core can be damaged and it can be difficult to implement. The first question to ask yourself is, how much money is in your budget? You want to buy the best cable for your money. The second question, what are your current bandwidth requirements and will you need more in the future? The answer to this question may reveal if you truly need fiber optic or if you'll be just fine with internet, ethernet. The third question is, are there any environmental factors influencing your decision? For example, would you need to dig any trenches or are there or are the existing wires easily removed from the wall? And are the cables going to be by any EMI generate EMI generating source? In conclusion, all cable types have their own physical characteristics, and each has their own advantages and disadvantages.